I am going to just do a real quick little video about labyrinths. This is a, called a 4C labyrinth. This is a very, very ancient, ancient um, uh, type of meditation uh, practice, and it, this is the key. So that's the little key that you need to do it. So I'll just put it up here as well. And then the trick is to go from one side to the other. It doesn't matter which way you go, but you need to be consistent going from one side to the other. So I'm going to start on, in a, you start in the center. So I'm going to move to the right with each of my lines. So I just draw a line to that first spot. Do a line to the second connection. So this, this stick now comes around and it connects onto here. I have to remember to turn in. This one goes around and it connects into here. So then when you're walking the labyrinth, you walk the path that meanders. And when you get to the center, you stop. And then when you come back out, you think about whatever came up in, when you were in the center. And then you can pause at the outside. This is tremendous fun to watch kids use because kids will um, run in and they'll maybe run in a couple of times and then third or fourth time they just slow right down. So it's a great little kid exercise or path. You can draw it in chalk on the school grounds, in sand on the beach. And this, I'm going to do another one. This is also a four seed labyrinth, but it's with a chevron in it and you'll see how much larger it gets. This one is so much fun. Uh, it's again, it's a four seed labyrinth. So I'm going to start a little lower this time here. Put in my chevrons, make it a bit smaller because you'll see why in a minute. Again, I start and I be consistent from one mark to the next all the way around. And that's really key here. So one mark to the next, go skip over it, that mark to the next, this mark to the next, this mark to the next, this mark to the next. And you also notice this is great for learning to draw because you've got to use your arm. Got to move it around. Oops, I'm running out of space. Not to make them skinnier, sorry about that. And one last one comes all the way around. So you see how much larger this one is. Again, it is, it's really fun to draw these out in the sand and then go in and wander them because you can wander them back and forth. And honestly, by the time you get to the middle, you've really slowed down. You may start fast and then you go like, whoa, I'm kind of liking this, except I lost my way there, I'm supposed to be there. There we go. And you think you're in the middle, but oh, maybe not. Maybe you have to wait a little while before you get there. And then you stop. And you can stay there, sing a song, look at the mountains, listen to the birds, whatever. And then when you walk back out again, you take whatever you found in the labyrinth with you. And you can just go back to your day. And even just drawing this is fine. I think I have to do that. There we go. I've lost, lost my way, but there you go, get out eventually. <laughs> so have some fun with that. Um, yeah, you could just draw them big and put it on your kitchen table and walk it with your fingers and um, color the path too. Again, like, like we did in the uh, mandala drawing, or in, yeah, in the mandala drawing, you could do this, a drawing like this, and then you could actually put it in the window and draw the path with many, many colors of crayon or something that would look and they look gorgeous as well and then you have the path instead of the structure so enjoy that take care